Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making Paradise Special. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. Paradise Special is a very special dessert. So special, my husband has loved it since he was seven. And it's his birthday dessert. Since it's his birthday, we're gonna make it. I'm gonna take you along. So he grew up in Southern California and they grew up in a cul-de-sac with a whole bunch of young families with kids and they had parties and stuff all the time together. One of them, moms, I guess, I don't know if they left the kids at home or not, brought this dessert and his mom had brought some home to him and he tasted it and he's loved it ever since. So we're gonna get started on it. First thing you need is just flour and butter and then some nuts. So we're gonna melt a half a cup of butter. And I just stick it in my microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, so as that's melting, we're gonna get one and a quarter cups of flour. All right, that's all ready. All right, so we've got our half a cup of melted butter and one and a quarter cups flour. We're just gonna put this in. Um, the first layer on this delicious dessert is a shortbread crust. And Paradise Special is this. So we've got butter and flour in there. Then I'm gonna add a half a cup of nuts. You can use almonds, pecans, or walnuts. We're using almonds because we got some nut allergies. <laughs> with the pecans and walnuts that will be joining us for this very special birthday celebration. So we're just gonna mix this up. Anyway, back to the story. Paradise Special is this shortbread crust with chocolate pudding in one layer, and then you've got cream cheese and some Cool Whip in another layer. And boy, it's just so delicious and so refreshing. Refreshing? It is just delicious, chocolatey dessert. All right, so I'm just mixing this up here. What we're gonna do is pop it into a metal nine by 13. You don't need to grease it or anything because the butter's in it. Get all that goodness out. Okay. Then I just take my hand, kind of crumble it everywhere. We're just going to pat it in there. Oh, Denver smells the butter. Go to your spot. <laughs> then I just, you just pat it down. It takes a second to get going and it'll probably stick to your hands just because they're warm. And these are slivered almonds. You can use chopped almonds, chopped pecans, chopped, uh, even almonds, walnuts, or pecans. It's probably. This doesn't have to be perfect. Once it bakes, uh, it kind of all flattens out. So. Kind of squish the dough around so it's nice and flat and even on the bottom. Before you start, make sure you uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees so the oven is ready um, for this little crust to go in. It's just gonna bake for about 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. Okay, more holes here. All right, that looks great. You've got your crust in there. We're gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. All right.
right, that is all finished. All right, so the crust is all cooked. It looks lovely. So you need to let this cool till it's completely cool before you start the next layer. I would say a solid half an hour. So I'll see you then, I'll be back. So our crust is completely cooled. It's cool to the touch, which is what you want. You don't want to have it warm at all because it will melt these next layers. So the next layers is a package of cream cheese. And you really want it softened. I've had mine sitting out on the counter for quite a while and it still feels a little cold. If it is, very gently, very gently for a very small amount of time, stick in the microwave and you get the rest of this off on here. Okay. So I'm gonna even stick mine in the microwave maybe for like 15 seconds. All right, so we got a brick of cream cheese in there. Let's test it out here. You definitely want a hand mixer for this. Okay. Break it up a little. Now we're gonna add one and a half cups of powdered sugar. This is a half cup, so we need three of those. Okay, so I've got one and a half cups of powdered sugar in there. And we're gonna mix that up. All right, so this is nice and creamy. Nice and creamy, nice and incorporated. Then we're gonna take the great big huge container of Cool Whip, which is 16 ounces. We're gonna add half of that to this. So I just cut it down the middle and totally eyeball it and just dump it in. I'm like, whoo, we're gonna, don't roll off my counter. We're gonna save the rest for, um, for the top of that. So then you just wanna really gently mix it in with a hand mixer. That's getting nice and thick. I'm gonna give it a stir here to get all that cream cheese mixed in. One more stir, make sure you got all that cream cheese off the side of your bowl, off the bottom. Okay, now we're just going to put this on top of the crust. It's a little sticky because it's thick, it almost feels like marshmallow cream does not taste like marshmallow cream. Okay. You're just gonna very gently, cause the crust can move a little. So just gently with a spatula, spread it out. You want it nice and even because it's almost kind of like you're making a lasagna with your layers.
If you got your crust made, this is really a pretty quick dessert. All right, so that is all done. So set that aside. Now we're gonna make the next layer. Okay, so now we're gonna make the chocolate layer. Get yourself, make sure you have a glass bowl when you do this. We've got two of the small three ounce um, instant chocolate pudding. To this, we're going to add three cups of milk. This is definitely a recipe where you do not want to go on the boxed instructions because it won't turn out right. I think this makes it way thicker. So there's two cups and one cup. And also we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. I never measure that, just give it a splash. All right, and I just use the same mixer. If you want to, you can um, rinse them off, but it all goes in there the same. So start this off slow. I just did a nice sprayed pudding everywhere. So now you just wanna make this uh, until it just becomes a thick pudding. So this just takes just a minute. And as it gets thicker, you can turn up your mixer. You can see how nice and thick it's getting. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll pour this on top of the cream cheese mixture. And once this sits in the fridge, it's all gonna thicken up and become really nice layers. All right, that looks beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off my spatula really quick because I'm gonna um, put more Cool Whip on the top and I don't want chocolate swirls in it, so I'll be right back. All right, then we're gonna just take the other half of that Cool Whip that we had, put it on top, and this, kind of want to daub around just because the jello's a little, the pudding's a little jiggly. Makes it easier to distribute. And then you just want to really gently spread this out. All right. And then I just make it like a nice little swooshy pattern in the top. Cover that up. All right, so there is one more step. If you don't have a microplane, you ought to get one because it's probably one of my favorite things in my kitchen. We're gonna put some shaved chocolate on the top. Pick your favorite um, chocolate bar if you want. We're gonna use a lint. If you have Hershey's or whatever, that's fine too.
break off a piece. Take your microplane. You're just gonna shred the chocolate all over the top. It's the part that makes it just super pretty. It's funny, you never think chocolate could be staticky, but when you do this, you can see the static, it flicking everywhere. Oh no. That's the best part, because the cook gets to eat that. This blade is super sharp, so as your fingers get close to it, move it because I've shaved my hand off with this before. This is really great for zesting lemons, oranges, anytime you use that. Mm. Garlic. Look at all that yummy chocolate. Staticky. It is so staticky. Get some more over here. It's like magic chocolate dust. I know, it's like staticky, so all over the edge. Okay, hang on. There you go. Okay. You're welcome. Well, it is your birthday. Mm -hmm. You can really go as much as you want. I'm just probably going to use up this little bit I have here. It is a little tricky to get it in the corners, but now my fingers are melting the chocolate. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's get it off the edges. It's so staticky. Oh, wow, this is heavy. So good. We're excited to eat this one. All right, so your next step after you've gotten all your layers and your beautiful chocolate shavings is to put a lid on it and we'll stick it in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight if you're serving it the next day. All right, so I'm not gonna cut into it today because it's for the birthday tomorrow and we have to put candles in it and sing before we can cut it. <laughs> but let me just say that the crust with the cream cheese layer and the chocolate with a Cool Whip, it is so delicious. It's like a kind of an easy pie and it is, it's just wonderful to eat and to celebrate somebody with. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other episodes. And I hope you guys have a great night. How should I start this off? Okay, we'll start there. He woke himself up from a nap. <laughs> you should go lay back down. Go lay down, Bumper. Nobody's outside to That's get funny. you. That's funny. His little squeaky bark. <laughs> go, oh, and you slap funny. Go back to bed. You got a sleepy leg, don't you? <laughs> you got a sleepy leg and everything. <laughs> Oh Can you sit God. down? Go to your spot. Okay, go to your spot and sit down. Good boy. Okay. Gonna taste good, I know.